very cold and I need a cup of tea right now. All right, so I have been uploading 2D animations on my Instagram page and they are doing quite well. And a lot of you have the same question, how do I create these 2D animations? Yeah, this is not a tutorial video, but this is a step forward uh, towards giving you some information about it. I'm going to tell you my favorite applications I use to create those 2D short animation. If you want to create short content or even long format 2D animation videos on your iPad or on your Android tablet, then this video is for you. I'm going to start with the easiest application, easiest to learn, which is Adobe Fresco. And there you go. Let me tell you that this application is absolutely free, but it is available only for the iPad users or iPhone users, Android users. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to tell you about an application right after this one. This app has been designed for illustrations specifically. I have this watercolor brush right now and you can see you can apply these organic brushes to your animations as well if you look closely there are some textures you know here on the shoulder there are some textures in the background one more exclusive feature this application gets is the looping of the animation if i play the animation you will see there are multiple butterflies i animated just one butterfly and scattered it all around the you know canvas automatically let me show you how i did that The application lets you, you know, add copies of it in a loop. You can experiment with this a lot. So if you have an iPad, this is a free application for you. Go ahead, download it, experiment with the brushes. Let's move on to the next application. The next application is Flipper Clip. It is available on iOS, on Android as well. It's free on iOS. I don't know if it's available free on Android. Maybe, I think it, it is free on Android. And this is the easiest application to learn if you want to do 2D animation. Here it is, for Clip. I have created this very simple bouncing ball animation right now, just for you. Okay, when did that happen? So Flipper Clip has these annoying advertisements going on. You go. So you can do simple frame by frame animation in Flipper Clip in no time. The toolbars are simple, brush, eraser, lasso and you also get paint bucket and also the text option. There are multiple layers you can work with. I think you can go up to 5 layers if you have the free version and yeah that's it. Let's go to the next one. The third application is probably my favorite one because this is the one I use the most for my Instagram Reels. If I want to create quick animation, I use this one. This application is called Calipec. Here it is. And yeah, this is my last project. I have just uploaded this video on Instagram. You can see I have been working with several layers. Yeah, I don't think it's available on Android, but yeah. And also it's not a free application. You have to go either for a subscription model or you can pay one time free for this application. I have been using this one, um, I think for the last two years for my Instagram thing. If you have um, less budget, but you want a good application, Calipec is the one. Let me tell you why. So Calipec not only lets you create complex animation, it lets you create long format animations, fairly easy to learn. Maybe it will take like five days, maybe a week to get used to this application, but it's not that complex. It also lets you do a little bit of motion tweening or keyframing, if you want to call that. This drop goes from top to bottom, but I did not draw all these frames instead i just drew two three frames and let the application do the motion here is one key framing and second key framing is here now we can talk about the letdowns what is the problem with this application yeah the line quality in calipeg is not that great let me show you why so these strokes are looking fine now but uh, if i move my drawings too much if I transform my drawings too much the line quality depreciates a lot you can see there is a huge difference between the this one and this one Calipec also lacks creative brushes if you compare it with Adobe Fresco it stands nowhere if you look here only maybe 10 or 15 brushes max and also these brushes are are, are not of very high quality these are just uh, mediocre kind of 
brushes the best you can do is create simple line art use the paint bucket tool and get your animation done it's nothing to me because i use this application for my quick content nobody is going to zoom into your instagram reel and see how good the line quality is that's why i use calipec for those kind of works if one of my clients asks for a very good quality animation this is not the application i go for for those kind of professional 2d animation i use different applications let me tell you which one all right so the next application is i think the best of these applications if you want to create really high quality animation like anime quality animation you are going to choose clip studio paint ex so while the app is loading let me tell you that it's also available for android for ipad and for your computer whether it's a windows or a mac os clip studio paint ex or pro or whatever the version is it's available on all the platforms you can use it anywhere the quality of you know brushes in clip studio paint is amazing i created long format 2d animation a series a short series of two episodes for my youtube channel and that was done all on clip studio paint ex version if you want to animate on clip studio ex is the version if you want to create just digital uh, you know uh, still illustrations clip studio paint pro is the version you should go for this is not a free application and it is not a cheap application also if you want quality this is the application you should go for either if you if you have ipad if you have android tablets even when you have computers i should i, I think you should switch from photoshop to clip studio you should just give it a go the brushes in this application are like like i told you you can create anime like quality on this application the learning curve is absolutely steep on this one you have to give at least two weeks three weeks a month to get used to this application this application also supports 3d inputs if you want to you know uh, add some 3d model for example i can also make him fat or you know really bulky or average looking like dad bod or some lean kind of a guy i can also shift to a female body fat whatever and then you can also let me show you this is really really interesting you can go for hand poses like open hands closed fists different kind of fists and this is really interesting you can also use your camera if you look here so i'm using my camera to make these gestures in clip studio if you are using clip studio paint you definitely need a a keyboard like this a bluetooth keyboard to work with your tablet or work with your computer let's move on to the next application before my mind bursts out into flames moving on to the next kid on the block which is procreate dreams it got me excited so much i created feedback video on that one that video is that video is already on my channel so procreate is also an ipad exclusive and this is not a free application but this is a lifetime subscription you don't have to pay again and again yeah like clip studio paint you can create really high quality animations on procreate dreams as well but there is always a but the learning curve on this one is uh, it, it's not difficult to learn but it's very different the workflow is totally different than the other application that's what i want to tell you but the major thing which is missing in this application everything is fine the brushes are absolutely fine you can create a beautiful illustration in procreate you know the, the original procreate software and import it into this application and animate that you can do a lot of stuff but there are some basic things missing and one of those things are um, the lasso tool or the selection tool that is really important for me personally because i could change any frame or any drawing or tilt any head or blink an eye i need the lasso tool and that is how um, i have learned to do 2d animation that is a basic workflow and that has been missing from procreate i don't know how procreate uh, uh, Definitely there is going to be a full blown tutorial on this one once I get into it. Procreate Dreams is pretty popular right now but it is also getting a lot of hate online by 2D animators just like I'm doing right now. Maybe they will add the lasso tool in the future and if they add the lasso tool let me tell you this is going to be my favorite application 
only the uh, the absence of lasso tool or the selection tool it's just not i i don't get this application hope you like this video if you like this video you can hit the like button subscribe for the coming tutorials yes there will be tutorials on this channel very soon starting with calipec or maybe flip a clip you can comment down in the comment section i will do the tutorial of that application first finding out how's your step